What's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. How is all of my peoples doing on YouTube, wherever you're watching from, Google this, Google that, whatever. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're gonna, just going to do a short haul video. So let's get started. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. There's also some links down in the description for some interesting stuff like um, my eBay store, which you may just find something nice there. You never know. So we're going to get right into it. I got a big old bag of goodies like Santa from the Salvation Army. Um, I did go to a couple couple places today. I did find a couple decent decent scores. So, um, I believe this was this was the Pink Hands of Hope. This was the only thing I really seen there. It's gonna need cleaned up a little bit. It's got some lint on it, but it's just your basic um, soft shell North Face women's large, good size. Um, I think it was seven bucks. It was seven or eight dollars. Paid up a little bit for it. Um, yeah, it was seven bucks. Not too bad. I'll definitely get more than $20 for that. I'll probably get about $30. Um, it may be worth a little bit more. It is a large. There's no... Um, I don't see any flaws in the material, so it's in pretty good condition. So with that being said, I might get a little bit more for it. But some of the North Face, if it's not new or if it's current or if it's not super vintage, like North Face is funny sometimes. If I let it sit for a while and I just want $35 for it, Eventually, it probably will sell for that, but I'm more about getting my ROI, my return on investment, um, getting a speedy ROI. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, so I didn't look this up, but it was not, it wasn't that much. How much was it? It was only four bucks. So, four dollars. This was the, I think this was the community aid. No, this was the, this was, this was, um, yeah, this was the Salvation Army too. All right, so this is a vintage logo athletic. Um, I believe that this is the the G Detroit Red Wings. Is that what that is? Detroit Red Wings. I think so. I'm I'm pretty pretty sure that's what it is. It's got some string. I'm gonna have to clip it. I'm gonna have to cut them out. Um, make sure you don't when you pull strings from certain side. Make sure you don't pull them out of the other side. Sometimes that does happen. But it is an old. Logo Athletic. Um, it's not made in USA, but um, it still does have a little bit of age to it. I'm not sure. I think this is a youth. It says one size fits all. So, yeah, that's probably an adult. Whatever. It looks a little small. It's in pretty good shape. It's not dirty on the inside. It doesn't have dirty brim. Um, it might just be... It might be new. It might have never been worn. Um, I do have to clean it. It's got a little spot on there. So, not too bad. Um, I'm not really sure what this hat is worth. Um, but it is old. It's a logo athletic, so it's got to be worth more than twenty dollars. Okay, so I did see these hanging on the rack. This was the, I think these are no Salvation Army. All right, so these were half off. It was half off day at Salvation Army. So Wednesday's a good day to go out, but probably early. Probably would make more sense to go early. I know Monday's a really good day for me to go um, to like the community aid. So I think I'm going to hit the community aid up on Monday. Um, probably every single Monday, but, um, so Monday is a good day to source. I was just trying to like, just kind of give it a break a little bit, but these are Adidas golf pants. They were $4.99. Got the Adidas sign on the back. Um, here is the label. That looks like an older. So I know it's a D I know they're golf. They're definitely golf pants. They're really cool. They're kind of like checkered. They're pretty dope. Um, Maybe like 25 bucks for these. They were half off. They were like 250. So that's kind of a no-brainer. They're in good shape. They'll definitely, they'll probably sell before golf season. Because golf season is probably over. There was some there was some nice shoes today. Like Cole Hans. And then I looked at them and I noticed that they did have some heel wear on them. Um, that's pretty important for me. I did pick up some dope tapes. Where do you see what I got? Alright, so. I did pick up these floor shines. 
The only reason why I picked up these floor shimes is because of the condition, man. They're like, they're just beautiful. I'm having a hard time selling shoes, though. Like, like I don't know why I keep picking them up because I keep listing them and they just don't seem to sell. Like, um, today I did sell, I did sell a pair of shoes today. What did I sell? I did sell a pair of shoes today. So they do sell. They're just slow. I'm just, I just expect certain things when they're nice like this to sell right away, but. Um, but they're in pretty good condition. They, I think they were worn. They're a little, some scuffing going on right there. But other than that, they're like brand new. I think they're supposed to have that, that creasing in them. But, um, they're really nice. This is like a cordovan red. Not to be confused with shell cordovan, which is the horse hind. Um, the hind of a horse, which is the leather. Um, which you will not see. You will not see creases like that. You'll see ripples. Like, but, um. Not really sure what these are worth. I know they were half off of eight dollars. They were seven ninety nine, so they're only four bucks. They are floor shimes, so I do see some value there. Got some. That was the Salvation Army. I spent thirty five bucks, so not too bad. I didn't spend a whole lot of money today, not really. Um, I seen this in the box, and I was like, let me see what that is. It is the Seabury Book of Common Prayer. It's not really a Bible. The Book of Common Prayer, Seabury. It's this is like pretty much brand new. There's something in it. What is that? Is that? I think that's a stain on the page. I can't get to it though. Let me see if we can find it right here. Okay, so that is not a stain. It is a four-leaf clover. How you like them apples? They put that in there for good luck, I guess, in the page. So maybe that's a thing. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look that up. But um, yeah, I got to turn notifications off. I'm like swiping them out the way. Swipe, 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 swipe. All right. Um, sound like Cat Williams. Swipe, 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 swipe. Um, so I seen these selling really, really high. Um, I have to do a little bit more research on this, but this was doesn't have a price tag on it, but. Probably charged me for a book, so it was probably like 50 cents. But um, I see somebody selling for like $90. So I seen a lot of the high prices, um, but a lot of them are different. This one may only be worth maybe $20, so I don't I don't know yet. I'll do more research on it. Um, it is in really good condition. It's almost like brand new. I'll probably have to take the four leaf clover out. I don't know if that's a thing. If they're supposed if you're supposed to leave them in, I d I don't know. All right, so. We did find we did find some Burberry today. Um I don't know. The, the pants don't have sometimes it says sometimes it says it on the inside of the pants. There's no size or anything. This was this was definitely made. It was probably um it's probably bespoke. It was probably made for somebody and it's a certain doesn't look too big. It looks like a 36 maybe. Like maybe like my size. It's not modern. It's definitely old. So, but it's still Burberry. Oh, I got my granddaughter a jacket. I forgot about that. All right. So it was $14.99. It was $15. But then again, it is Burberry. So, you know, I couldn't pass it up. The older Burberry, you'll always see that. That's the Porsum. Pur Porsum, it's like P-R-O-R-S-U-M or something. There's the Burberry. This is the older Burberry. It's not worth a ton, but somebody's vacuuming upstairs. I apologize. 100% uh, pure wool. That's what it'll say on the other side. This is just a vintage one. There's not going to be a size on the inside. You have to measure these yourself, which is a pain in the butt. That looks like an inspection probably in a, or a ticket to like a movie or something but there's a hundred dollars in the pocket but no there'll always be there'll be your union you'll see your union tag and this is never written on they never write on that there's always like a date and a, they're supposed to put the size and everything right there it'll just say dry clean so they'll just ha usually have that tag on the inside underneath of this one but this is a vintage one probably from the 80s or 90s I'm not really sure um, maybe early 2000s, maybe. I don't know. This was probably hanging in somebody's closet. 
Um, it's got a really nice pattern. It's not a bad looking pattern. So, but um, that's it. That's all I got today. I really didn't. I really didn't see anything. Oh, I got these. Um, I did get some tape. I got this for my granddaughter. It was five dollars. Really, really pretty. Really cute. It is the the Elsa and what's the other one's name? Elsa and something. I don't know. It's frozen, but it's really cute. Super embroidered on the back. Like it's got like embroidered flower and it's got some just some um, graphic print, whatever. That's pretty dope. She'll like it. Now we're gonna get into cassette tapes. I was supposed to stop at somebody's house today and pick up some tapes today, and I forgot. So. Shame on me. I have to call her and tell her that I that something came up that um I'll just tell her because we did go to look at a house today and um I'll just I don't know. I'll just I don't like to do things like that. It was a mistake. Okay, so I don't know what this album is worth. It's probably worth a couple bucks. So we have the Guns N' Roses, we have the Appetite for Destruction. I will definitely be testing this this out. Um the tape looks like it was it's used, but not too bad not that bad it still has the words on it so you know still got the awesome jacket look at the jacket on the inside really really cool look at that welcome to the jungle we got fun and games all right i don't get paid to sing so check that out pretty cool little design whatever drawing so oh yeah you know they got the keg of beer at the keg of beer, you know, they got a party. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. It still got the still has the label on it. Look, sweet child of mine. It still has the original case to it. This probably has a few, this probably has a decent value to it. What year did this come out? Depending on the release. There's different releases um for these cassettes. Like some of them are like UK and some of them are just different types of releases. So you gotta make sure that you um, did you do your research when you're looking at cassettes because some of them are have have a bait have a really high value because they're just different prints, you know. Um, so I got this Whitney Houston. I got a couple Whitney Houston's. Um, I think I listed all my other ones. I got the Bodyguard. I'll probably just lot these together. It's kind of why I grabbed them. This one's I'm Your Baby Tonight. Um, these are cool. Just really cool old nostalgia. Um, people love cassettes. They just they, they probably buy the Walkmans. It just really brings them back. Then we have the Leonard Skinner. This one is pronounced Lil Leonard Skinner. All right. So this is probably a good album. I'm not really sure what this is worth, but um, probably like 15 bucks, something like that. Not too bad. Cassettes aren't that much. Cassettes are like, I think they're like 50 cents. Yeah, I think they were. Let's see. Let's see. I think they added them all together. We got 50% off. We got green shoes, blue shoes, child, blue. Then we got six time, book and record, $3 for six of them. So one, two, yeah, they're 50 cents. They're 49 cents a piece. Now these were really cool. We have Air Supply Greatest Hits Live, sealed, still in the plastic. Hear that? Oh, I undid it a little bit. Whoops. That's okay. Yikes. Probably shouldn't have did that then, huh? I wonder if I can glue that. No. Yeah, probably shouldn't have did that. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. That's probably not worth that much. It's only air supply. This one's probably the one I don't want to mess with, huh? Is that a label on top of the label? Yeah, because that's, that's the original label. And they put this label on top of that label, but it didn't come off. That was already, that was already ripped right there. So I'm probably gonna leave that on. That's a rich because some people collect them. Um, this is the Top Gun Tom Cruise soundtrack. The Top Gun soundtrack. This is also sealed. But uh, yeah, yeah, don't do that. Look what I did. I pulled up the plastic, but it's all good. So I'm gonna go give this to my granddaughter. She's really gonna like it. Um, it's definitely her size. Thought it was cute. It's only five bucks. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we got today. There really wasn't too much going on. I really don't like to go out on half off day because it's just too much competition. There's too many people out because they know everything is half off. 
Me, I love a deal, but I also like my, my, um, my, um, I like my peace when I go out. Like, I like to just kind of go and not have, like, too many people around me. And I just don't, I don't know. It's not that I don't do well with people, like, with others, but. I just don't, you know, I just prefer to go out when it's not as busy and I still find good stuff and I still get good deals. So, I mean, it is what it is. It just depends on what you want to do. It depends on where you live, you know, your, your financial situation. It's just all that, you know, takes into play. So it is what it is. So we're going to go hook up my, um, my granddaughter with this dope jacket and I hope she likes it. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I have. Like I said, a super short video. Um, I will be doing a what sold video tomorrow, so make sure you guys are stay tuned for that. Um, and other than that, my little 100 subscribers, I'm so grateful for all the people that watch my videos. Thank you guys so much for supporting um, my channel. Um, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time for me to leave. Peace. I'm out. And I just want to say for all the people that are leaving positive feedback on my account, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, maybe not all, you know, directly entirely to them, but it just feels good just to say it. Um, not to like toot my own horn or anything, but just to to um, try to just, you know, just to bring that positive, um, that, that positive energy up, you know, as much as possible. And uh, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And if it wasn't for all, all the people that are buying from us, we wouldn't have our business. So you need to focus on them and you need to focus on, on answering all of your questions and just trying to be. I just had a question that a lady just answered me now. Sometimes it's frustrating when you're working all, you know, all day. And, um, but when a lot of them questions, when you answer them, they will turn into a sale. So hopefully this question that I answered will turn into a sale. She was asking me about a... Um, a uh, us, uh, whatchamacallit, a Christmas, yeah, whatchamacallit, it's not a candy bar, it was a Christmas ball, light up Christmas ball, but like a, I think it had a cardinal, cardinal bird inside of it, pretty cool, I'll show you actually, alright, it is, I just came over here, this right here, so this takes like three of them button batteries, they go into the bottom of it right here, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I did answer her question. She asked me what kind of batteries it took. I took the batteries out, took a picture of them. Some people may not go above and beyond um, for their customers, but I promise you it will pay off in the long run if you do that. So please make sure that you're answering all your questions. Um, a lot of people like to do it once a day, do it in the morning um, when they have time. I don't know. It depends on your schedule. My schedule is pretty much all day. I just answer questions whenever I get them as soon as possible. If I'm not home, I just let them know that I'm not home and I will get back to them ASAP, you know, as soon as I can. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I'm out.